Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Hoover with RH Custom Guns. Today I'm going to be cutting a rotational dovetail. A rotational dovetail is like a regular dovetail that you would use to install sights, but except for the dovetail being driven in from the side, it's rotated in. Uh, rotational dovetails were used a lot by older rifle manufacturers to install the magazine tube hanger on their repeating rifles. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here is a rotational dovetail as viewed from the bottom of the barrel or the looking down on the dovetail, you can see that it's radiused on each end. It looks like a circle. And this is what fits in that dovetail. It's the magazine tube hanger. You can look at the bottom of this and you can see that it's also radiused correspondingly to the dovetail on the bottom. Now, if you twist the barrel and look this way, it looks like a regular dovetail from the side and the magazine tube hanger does as well. Okay, so the way you install this is you would take the magazine tube hanger, set it in there at an angle like that, and then it twists in. Then you can, uh, magazine tube would fit in it like that. Yes, all right. So the reason that they did this is if this was a regular dovetail and uh, it was the only thing holding the magazine tube in place, it would have uh, the opportunity to slide back and forth if the gun was banged around. And I've actually seen uh, cheaper guns made without the rotational dovetail that did have that problem. So a rotational dovetail is always a must on uh, these nicer guns and any gun in my opinion that has an under magazine tube but does not have a screw holding it into the barrel. All right, let's see how we cut this thing. Okay, here's a professional artist's rendition of the dovetail so I can show you how we need to measure it. I'm going to take the measurements off of the old barrel to use on the new barrel. So looking up the top, what first thing we want to do is measure the dovetail from this section to this section where you can see the lines. You do not want to measure from the outside of the radius to the outside of the radius because you'll cut it too big because the first thing we're going to do is come in with an end mill and just cut it square right there. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is measure the depth of the dovetail from here to here. And the reason I've drawn it twice is because some barrels have a radius cut into them for the magazine tube so that a larger magazine tube can fit uh, up against the barrel. The one that we took off of the gun does, uh, the one that we're putting on does not because it's tapered enough to where the magazine tube will be able to fit without having to be recessed into the barrel with a radius. So this is the magazine tube hanger. We need to make sure that the bottom of this radius or this right here is flush or maybe a little proud of this surface right here or this surface if there's a radius. So what we're going to do is if you have just a flat barrel like that octagon we're working with here, you're gonna measure from here to here and that'll be your measurement. Now, if you have a radius cut into your barrel uh, for the magazine tube and you measured from here to here, you would be cutting too deep for this magazine tube hanger. And when you got done, uh, unless you had a radius already cut in your new barrel, it would sit below flush and it wouldn't fit. So if you have a radius, instead of measuring from here to here or trying to measure from the bottom of the radius to the bottom of the dovetail, just measure from the bottom of the radius of the magazine tube hanger to the bottom of the magazine tube hanger, this thickness right here. Uh, on ours, this dimension is 665 thousandths and this dimension is about 70 thousandths, but I'm probably only gonna cut 65 just to leave it a little proud so we don't have any binding issues. Okay, the last thing I want to show you before we move to the mill is how I actually cut the rotational section of the dovetail. Now, I guess you could get a dovetail cutter that was the same diameter as the magazine tube hanger, which is like 810 thousandths or something like that. But that's probably a custom tool and I'm not really interested in buying one. So I made my own little cutter here. This is what I use on a boring bar holder. You can see that it's I, it's tool steel. Before I hardened it, I just made it this shape, which is the same angle. The, the cutter head is the same angle as the dovetail, and I just relieved the back of it. So what it does is as it is held in the boring bar holder, it comes through and scrapes out the dovetail like that. And I uh, just go very slowly, little bits at a time, and I'm... <laughs> 
really asking a lot of my mini mill to uh, get it to cut this but it works and uh, you just go a little bit at a time and test fit and then stop and test and stop and test which I'll show you here in a second but homemade tool uh, this was an invaluable invention <laughs> Okay, here I am set up at the mill to cut on the new barrel. You can see I have an end mill set up here, and all I'm gonna do is start where I've marked and just cut a slot in the barrel that's gonna be 65 thousandths deep and 665 thousandths wide. Okay, just finished cutting the slot. That is the beginning of our rotational dovetail on the mill here. You can see it's just squared up on this side and this side, just a slot from here to here is 665 thousandths. That was the dimension we got when we measured. I did wanna mention that the position of this dovetail in relation to the length of the barrel is not really critical. You could be an inch or even two closer to the muzzle this way because all this dovetail does is let the hanger sit in a position to support the magazine tube near the muzzle. Uh, you could even be an inch further rearward in this one uh, because the magazine tube is so thick and does a good job of supporting itself. So just make sure you get the dimensions of your rotational dovetail right. Don't worry so much about the position uh, this way as long as you make it look good. All right, moving on. So now that the slot is cut, I've put the boring head in the mill and put our special tool in that. I've centered it both this way uh, in the slot we cut and this way to the center of the barrel. And I've touched off with the tool. Let's turn it on. Okay, after it's cut that diameter we're going to open it up a little bit cut a little bit test cut a little bit test until we get it to where the rotational dovetail will fit in there and then we'll clean it up with some files and be good to go okay here's the finished rotational dovetail with the magazine tube hanger in it you can see that uh, it works to install the hanger you put it in there at an angle and then just twist it in and then when you uh, put the magazine tube in through there you will become from the front when you're assembling and you can see it works it fits together just like it should thanks for watching this video on how I make a rotational dovetail when I first started in this business there was very little information available on the internet about how to do certain things like this and I hope that uh, by making this video I've preserved it a little bit so that everybody can use it and keep the craft alive Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like RH Custom Guns on Facebook and follow RH Custom Guns on Instagram. Thank you and good shooting.